This is Nitsa Moshe with Remnant Remedy, where we're living and learning a restoration lifestyle. And I'm excited to share one of the first of a series of videos from the tour that we took to Israel, where we focused on plants, botany, and this first one is going to be mostly on argon oil. And we visited a farm. It was called the Oren Farm. And they grow actually several things there. And so I'm just going to go over my notes that I took while I was there. But what's going to happen after I get through with my notes is that you're going to get to actually watch the presentation that was given to us while we were in Israel. And then the film. Uh, they were kind enough, uh, very generous to us, to give us the film so that we could insert the film that they showed us at the presentation. So it will be as if you were there, except, of course, you won't get to see the trees and taste the, the argon oil but or the dates. They had lots of dates there. But I think that's a real treat. And so uh, we did a newsletter a few weeks ago on argon oil and we do offer the argon oil from israel at remnantremedy.com go to pure shimon and or where we have this essential oil link and or you can just go straight to pure shimon.com and get the argon oil from israel we are also taking pre-orders for those because we are almost out. We did a big run on that when we did the newsletter. And we also can make available to you the roasted argon oil, which uh, is preferred for eating uh, and consuming. Not that you can't consume the regular, but uh, the roasted one has a little bit of a more robust flavor and it's very healthy for you, as I will share with you here. Okay, so the name of the farm that we went to in Israel is called the Oren Farm. And um, they're primarily known for their argon oil. Argon oil, uh, usually uh, a lot of people know it as Moroccan oil. However, this oil is, Moroccan oil is argon oil, but a lot of times they don't really explain that to you when you're buying shampoos and hair products and they are from Morocco. But there's something very special about Israel. Remember that Israel are the people of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they, when they grow something and when they build something and whatever they do, it's about life. It's about sustainability. And so they respect the land. They respect the plants and the animals. And so when they harvest their argon, um, kernels to make the oil, they don't rape the land like they do in Morocco. And so this is the same with dates. Uh, pal excuse me, not dates, palm oil. You know, in the essential oil business, there are companies, wholesalers, who have refused to sell palm oil because of sustainability, because in the countries that they're used to getting it from, they cut down the whole tree. And so with the argon tree and the date, excuse me, date, well, I guess date palm, the dates come from the palm, the palm oil, they cut the entire tree down. And so the trees are going extinct. And so, of course, these companies don't want to continue to contribute to this. So like one company I've dealt with, uh, they quit selling the palm oil. But what they don't do, and, and some do it on purpose, and some just do it out of ignorance, they don't offer you an alternative to sell you argon oil or palm oil from a country that does have sustainable practices, such as Israel. They would rather boycott or ignore the fact that Israel can provide date oil and or argon oil, and it's very sustainable because they actually just process and press the seeds instead of cutting down the entire tree like some of the other countries. So I just want you to be aware of that. And um, that is one other reason why it actually costs a little more because, you know, they're not killing off the trees. So when you buy Moroccan oil or argon from Morocco, and maybe some other countries, just remember, if you really care about the sustainability, yes, it's cheaper, but the trees are becoming endangered. Whereas if you get it from Israel, you're helping Israel grow, you're helping the people there, you're helping the land of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you're getting a really good pure product that's processed sustainably with respect to the creator of the universe. 
So what they have there is, uh, let's talk a little bit about their dates first. You know, a lot of people don't realize that, um, I believe, I want to say that it, it, it was a large amount. I, I kind of want to say 70%, but I, I could be wrong. I was quoted my tour two years ago by the rabbi there that most of the dates that are processed, especially the medjool dates that are uh, sent out into the world that you may get at your supermarket here in the United States, they many times say they're from Turkey. I mean, have you ever bought any that says they're from Israel? Well, what happens is they get imported to Turkey and some other countries and repackaged and then they become a product of Turkey or whatever country that is. And you don't realize that the majority of those dates actually came from the land of Israel. And Israel, because of its climate, especially in the desert area, um, they have learned to find ways to grow plants sustainably with wisdom and intellect and insights from Elohim and technology. And so um, let's just talk a little bit about their dates. So the, uh, the dates actually uh, don't increase, especially the specific variety of medjool, supposedly does not increase your insulin. And so it's safer to, safer to use or to eat dates. And you know, for those of you who are trying to um, watch your diets and you don't want to eat sugar and high fructose corn syrup and all that stuff and you're wanting to wa watch your sugar intake and that's important if you have eye problems especially uh, if you're in your 40s 50s 60s 70s uh, you have eye problems and or kidney problems uh, insulin problems insulin resistance you know uh, type uh, 2 diabetes type 1 uh, you you want to avoid sugar. You want to avoid white flour. You want to avoid, you know, empty carbs that are not complex that are good for you because it, it plays havoc with your body and your pancreas. So if you're wanting, but if you're wanting that sweetness, you know, get you some medjool dates. And I know, I know this is gross, but for me coming from Florida uh, for many years, they look like giant cockroaches to me, but I know they're not. Okay. But they are very, very sweet. You can even get date, uh, what they call date sugar. Uh, you can get coconut, what they call coconut sugar, which is actually made from the sap. And so if you're wanting just that, you know, just that sweetness to get that little sweet tooth taken care of, go grab you a date, you know, buy you some, put it in the fridge and um, realize, especially if it's medjool, you're probably supporting Israel directly or indirectly. So, and it's not going to spike your sugar. Um, so that's something to think about when you're doing that. And of course, it's, it's good in fiber and it's got vitamins and stuff. Um, one of the things, so things to know about dates is that you can store them one month, you know, outside in the open, uh, you know, in the cabinet, whatever. But when you buy them, you can store them in the fridge for up to three months and they're still good. You can put them in the freezer for one year. So if you get a good deal, or if you want some dates, um, you know, sometimes I like to do that same thing with figs. You know, when I can get figs uh, in the summertime, I will take them, you know, rinse them really well and pat them dry. And then I just throw the whole fig into a Ziploc bag. And when it's time to make a smoothie, I, because figs are like sugar too, you know, they're another excellent uh, fruit that Yahweh made for you to be healthy, but have that sweetness. And I just throw the whole thing in a smoothie. Um, but if you're really into this, what I like to do is take a fig, a frozen fig, and uh, you might want to let it thaw just a little bit, but actually like biting into it. It's like eating an ice cream. Um, you know, of course with texture, but it's so, so sweet. So you might want to think about that with your figs and with your dates. Okay. So, um, dates, uh, resist the salt of the desert. And that's one of the things besides the heat is to overcome the salt because the salt is, you know, the, the desert part of Israel uh, along the Negev. Um, is right off of the uh, Dead Sea and the salt, you know, comes up and it, it, it kind of goes up in the air and then it falls back down, uh, you know, even out for miles away from the Dead Sea onto the ground. And so 
uh, you, you can see, and hopefully we'll have this in pictures later when we put the pictures together from the trip to Israel. Uh, you will see that the salt or the salt rings are kind of around the bottom of the plants. And so they use line drippers to constantly push the salt away from the roots of the plants. And so that's one of the things. Um, but dates are one of the reasons they're really good is uh, they resist the salt of the desert. Uh, dry dates get more money than, of course, fresh dates. And um, what they do to protect them from the insects and the birds and the bats is they cover them with nets when they're, when they're getting ready to uh, harvest them or when they're growing them. Um, if they're too wet, uh, yeast will attack them. And so that is a problem. And uh, they weigh them, they measure them, and you want to make sure uh, when they're doing that, they, they want to process that and make sure it's good without the skin separation. Um, because if the skin hasn't separated from the date, then they're worth more money also. And again, remember medjool dates when you go to the store. Um, okay, let's talk about argon trees a little bit. Argon trees can live to be about 200 years, and they're in my notes, I, mean, I don't know because I haven't seen them for 200 years, but they say they're green forever. Uh, they help prevent landslides. They can make furniture from argon. Um, and again, in Morocco, the Berbers, uh, you know, they do not sustainably harvest the Moroccan oil or the argon oil. Uh, so that, that can be a problem. But in Israel, that's not a problem. They just keep growing them and they sustainably process the, the kernel, uh, or we, you know, we call it seed, but the kernel in that seed. And uh, it's excellent for your hair. So a lot of people use hair. Uh, people that are, you know, um, black or from Haiti, or, uh, you know, if you have that really dry skin uh, and dry hair, they use that. And I have several friends. In fact, um, my assistant, she uses it in her hair. Yeah. And of course, m many people and many uh, cosmetologists, salon people use argon. They put it in your shampoo. You can put it in your hair. Uh, regardless of your hair type, it will help moisten it, help give a sheen, make it help you be more manageable. It only takes a little tiny bit to put in your hair. Um, it's great for your nails. You know, you, you just put a little drop on your nails like what we do with our argon oils we put it in a little spray bottle but we just squirt it we might even squirt it in our hands you know just one or two squirts or a couple of drops go like this and then you just go through your hair once you get out of the shower let it dry and absorb it takes like three to four months uh for it to absorb and it just puts a nice sheen to your hair and moisture um We'll go over more details, and we have more information in detail that you can read at pureshaman.com when you look up argon oil on our site. It's really good for the skin also. The, the kernel, or the nut, excuse me, of the argon is actually one of, they, they say, one of the hardest nuts to crack. So maybe if you are strong and sustainable as a character person, you may be a hard nut to crack. It takes 10 hours uh, with the process that is sustainable for them to produce one liter of argon oil. It has kind of a nutty taste. We encourage you to go to pubmed.com and just type in argon and look at the benefits for it from a medical standpoint, whether it's taken internally or topically. Uh, there's lots of articles. It helps uh, reduce triglycerides and glucose. Uh, it has been researched to delay prostate cancer. Maybe not totally eradicate it, but when used and taken internally, uh, it is used for that and has been successful in the research and testing. Uh, it's very high in vitamins and antioxidants, and so it's considered anti-aging. They even use it on cuts and burns, especially if you take it and put it with helichrysum italicum oil essential oil, and we have that on the website at runnerone.com, pureshemin.com. Uh, they use it for eczema and for baby's nails. Uh, again, hair loss. It's really good massaged into the, the scalp. Some consider it to be the tree of life oil. It has a yellow natural internal uh, and external 
uh, look about it. it. The dark rose kernel, is, the health uh, benefits are the same. has more of a nutty taste. You can use it like olive oil and uh, you know dip dip your dip your bread or or put it in your homemade hummus uh, your homemade salad dressings i put uh, about a, a teaspoon to two in our smoothies every morning so um so that we're getting the the benefits of the oil again three to four minutes to allow it to absorb into your hair or your scalp uh, you can use it for massage with or without uh, an essential oil for its antioxidant properties and nourishing properties to the skin. And it is used for scars, as I mentioned, uh, with or without helichrysum. Of course, helichrysum metallicum uh, essential oil will boost that big time and very quickly. Um, it is recommended in the research that women take eight cc's per day for at least 24 to 30 days, which would be one and a half or 1.6 teaspoons. Uh, and men take two teaspoons. And again, uh, men can benefit from that uh, for prostate. Uh, it helps with the blood pressure. And some use it because it helps uh, them to reduce um, to reduce their statin drugs or get off their statin drugs. So that is something else you may want to research by going to PubMed or, or search around. It has a three year shelf life. So unlike olive oil, which doesn't quite have, you know, may have six months to a year, 18 months max, depending on how you keep it, uh, it has a longer shelf life than olive oil. So that is something else to, uh, something else to consider. And they say you should use it with vitamin C. And there's a lot of research, they say, in the United Kingdom and Germany uh, on that in the U.S. regarding, uh, again, cancer, prostate cancer in particular. Uh, and so we do have some limited uh, supply left, but if you would like to pre-order or order in larger quantities, because the shipping from Israel is, you know, a little hefty, but if we order together and retail it uh, together, uh, we can retail the small amounts for the cosmetic hair nail use, but if you actually would like some to use daily in your diet, and uh, we would you know, work with you on a discount for that and pre-order, uh, take pre-orders for that so that when we get our next batch from Israel, you could participate in that for you to take the argon oil internally. And so we are going to now watch the presentation and the video. Okay. Moshav, Nativa Gdud. Moshav is community of farmers that uh, everybody has uh, something like uh, uh, five hectare. Five yeah. hectare is yeah. 50 yeah. dunam. And now they're going to increase it to eight. But this is what we have, and a certain amount of water. We have fresh water, return, recycled water, and salt water. Mm -hmm. Three kind of water, uh, of water. Uh, we irrigate certain uh, plant and, and vegetables with fresh water, drinking water, because of the medical, uh, you know, we don't want to, and then the pump, day pump tree, we irrigate with salt water, mixed with recycled water. Recycled water is the water that somebody already used, they clean it and then they put it and we can uh, irrigate it again because the tree is very tall so there is no problem of any disease etc and they clean it so it's treated water yeah. um, so the, um, every farmer has a certain amount of water and he can grow anything he wants uh, and if he lose it's his problem it's free enterprise you can grow whatever you want uh, vegetables, herbs, uh, any plantation, and if you earn money, it's your money. It's like free business, but the in the middle of the moshav, it, it, it spills like a like a sun with ray. The ray are the streets. We have six streets in the moshav, and in the middle we have the office, the main office, 
we have the account office, we have the children, kindergarten children, you wanna, you know, everybody just let them play together. We have the playground of the children, we have the swimming pool, yeah. and we have uh, like a, a, a club. They you call it a club, but like it's a closed place like this with, uh, we can make parties there, and we can, the, and there is computer for the children to, you know, to get any, to play together. Small, uh, so it's like a, a sun. Uh, 55 families, 30 families with gray hair, <laughs> uh, something like 10, 12 young, our sons that came, they want to be farmers, not everybody is perfect. And the rest want to live in the Moshav, but they don't want to be farmers. Smart guys. <laughs> and and uh, the Moshav uh, also have uh, um, plantation of date palm trees that everybody, it belongs to the stockholders, it's kind of stockholders. And the profit is divided equally by the people who own this stock every year. Yeah. Plus we have other facilities that um, we get money from, like uh, we have like a solar energy yeah, yeah. Uh, facility that makes uh, uh, electricity yep. and we get money from the electrical company yep. and we don't give it to the people, we share it with the community, even to the people who just live as municipalic uh, people, not uh, members of the Moshav, the Moshav uh, because Moshav is like a company. Yeah, I don't want to explain, <laughs> but okay, so this is the Moshav. Uh, kibbutz is something else that everybody works and you get the same salary, plus each child get another salary, plus each work is based on a different uh, equation. All right, so okay. if you have two children and she got three, you will get X plus two Y and she will get X plus three Y. And if she is uh, working in the kitchen, she'll get Pink. another bonus. And okay. you, if you are uh, in charge of the money, you'll get like more bonus. <laughs> <laughs> you can change, you can switch. I told you to work in the kitchen. I do, do work in the kitchen. She does. <laughs> I do work in the kitchen. Okay, so uh, we came here in 1976, okay, and at the beginning we used to share everything because we didn't have money, so two farmers used to have a tra one tractor, so used to fight, My, the tractor is from 8 to 9 is mine, 9 to 10 is yours, you know, because it's different, uh, families, different one, is, one wanted to grow, I don't know, dates uh, or grapes and the other one wanted to grow peppers and yeah. or oranges, I don't know. But now it's, everybody has his own tractor. Um, I will not say anything that's in the movie because then I will repeat myself. So in the Jordan Valley, uh, as, as I told someone before outside, I work for the extension service. So I teach the farm, not only that I teach them how to grow, I also um, produce knowledge. Yeah. Because I do a lot of experiments with Volcani Institute, with all kinds of serious institute, and when we get some information, new information, we publish it. Mm -hmm. And people all over use it, even people in Jordan. Because we, sh we believe that concerning to food, and knowledge about how to grow things, there should be no secrets, yeah. no boycott. Yeah. But in Europe, they think different. Yeah. So they started to boycott us. Yes. Uh, so I will talk about this because it's really painful for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But where you're sitting now, it, this was the <coughs> oldest packing house that we used to have. We used to uh, sort flowers, we used to send to ah, Holland, flowers. Netherlands, yeah. to the auction. Yeah. Uh, so we used to grow chrysanthemum, gypsophilia, and roses. Yeah. And eventually, after a few years, 
the, there was a decline of the prices because they moved all their facility to Africa. In Africa, you don't pay for the water, you don't pay for the land, you don't pay, the salary is like, like nothing, so we, you cannot compete. So we switch into vegetables, I'm talking about exporting vegetables and grapes. So we started to grow grapes, the seedless perlet grapes, Original come from California. Yeah. Napa. The problem is about this grape that you have to comb them. You have to comb the bunch oh. in order to reduce the amount of berries. So we used to have like a, a comb, you know, the old comb, the plastic one that you used to put in the jeans, and then we used to comb like that, you know, like John Travolta, you know. So we used to comb the, you know, everybody used to comb the bunches, and then. Eventually, we found out in one, far, in one farm in Fatsael, uh, one farmer called me and says, Look, I, have a I ordered a variety, and this one is not the variety I ordered. Something is wrong with it. And we checked it, and we found out that it's a new variety. <coughs> and this, the name of the variety is Early Sweet. We gave it a nice name because it comes early and it's sweet. But it's not crunchy. But still, we started to export. We used to export it to Europe, 8,000 ton every year. So everybody started to grow because, every, because the prices, when we came to Europe, the beginning of June, the price was very high. Three euro per kilo, which is very high for us. So we, can, we had good income. And then we started to grow the SBS, which we called the early sweet. As we gave it the name in the beginning like SBS because the name of the farmer was Shmulik Ben Shaul. SBS. Sorry. And so everybody was based on exporting. Why? Because the Israeli market is very small and we could not compete with the Israeli farmers because they always uh, harvest more kg than we do. Because here it's very hot in the in the morning, it's very hot at night, the plant grows slowly, not like in the middle, in, in like in the seashore or around it or in the hills. So the, we didn't have a lot of uh, tonnage or whatever, n not enough, key, but we used to go to the market earlier. So it was like a, a compensation of the, uh, the kg comparing to the price. So we, we did very good uh, eventually and then came the uh, one Palestinian uh, opened uh, uh, the BDSS yeah. SS, S, S, you can add many S. <laughs> and he said boycott Israel, Israel apartheid, Israel blah, Israel blah. Mm -hmm. A lot of lies. People don't know about Israel. They think that that we are. Yeah. It's like uh, like South Africa that was and that the Arabs cannot work. My boss is an Arab by the way. And a woman that my colleague, she's a religion person, we sit in the same office. Mm -hmm. She get the same salary as I am, even more because she had children. My children are already grown up. So it's bullshit. Uh, <laughs> anyway, People don't know about Israel and they believe that we are uh, Palestinian, we're hitting them and that. And then they started to us, they stopped buying from us. And uh, we said, to ask them, why do you stop buying from us? They said, people come to the supermarket and they're starting to throw fruit on the floor, starting your, you know, Israeli fruit. And I said, so why don't you call the police? I said, no, no, we don't want to have problem, blah, 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 blah. Not, it's not a reason. They said, we don't want... Uh, I said, okay. But remember, when you grow a scorpion, one day it will sting you. Yeah. Mm. What happened now in Europe, and it will increase and increase and increase. Mm. You don't have to be profit to know, because uh, somebody said, if something walks like a duck, it talks like, like a that. duck, it's a duck. Anyway, uh, last year we had to throw 15 tons of figs 
because they say we don't want to buy oh. from you, and, but it was already packed. And to send 15 ton of figs to the Israeli market, you cannot send it because figs are exotica. Yeah. You don't go to the supermarket and say, oh, cucumber, pepper, and figs. No, <laughs> if you see it, you say, wow, I want to have figs. So you buy it once in a while, price is like very uh -huh. high. Not only because of the farmer, because of the supermarket. Mm -hmm. So we came to the, and then we started to have like a um, food show on the television. If you cook uh, chicken with figs, uh, if you do this with figs, oh. all the chefs started to do figs, 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 <laughs> and people started to buy figs. It was good, but, so we started to send more figs to the Israeli market, but we could not send, we came to the supermarket and said, can you? Reduce the price. We just need small uh, profit from the figs. Like sell it. Uh, we will sell it to you for 15 shekel, which leaves us three shekel. Uh, after, you know, because in figs, for one for uh, for one duna, it's 1,000 square meter. It's like uh, four acre is four duna. No, one acre is four duna. You get only one ton. So uh -huh. cost. Yeah, so it costs a lot of money to grow it and to harvest it. So 15 shekel leaves in your bank account three shekel per kilo, which is good for my wife to buy shoes. Oh. But it's okay. Why do you buy so many shoes? Anyway, uh, they say no, no, no. You do not interfere with the price, and they sold it for 40 shekel. So people don't. I will not buy my figs for 40 shekels oh. and so we had to throw them because it was cheaper to throw them than to to uh, set, to pack them and send them to the market and so we had to reduce the amount of uh, plantation we have like you see the tractor is cleaning all that this was all half of it was uh, grapes and on the left was all figs now it's nothing we still have figs, uh, we have uh, Brazilian figs, come from Brazil, the name of the variety is brown turkey, they also grow it all over the world, they, we export it, export it <coughs> to very few countries that still want to buy figs from us, very high quality, no, uh, no chemical in that because we grow it under insect proof net. So we sell it into, to, in Europe in the open market, not in the supermarket. And some supermarkets still buy from us. So South Africa buy from us, South Asia buy from us, Canada, uh, they buy from us the, the figs. Uh, so we reduce the amount of figs and we managed to find two new varieties that were made in Israel. Uh, the name of the, we, there's no name for that fig yesterday, but I call it wow. <laughs> why? You know why? Because when you give it a bite, what you say? Wow. wow. <laughs> Best fig wow. ever. One of them is green, but inside it's red. Yeah. So I wanted to call it for, to export, sweetheart. It's like yeah. sweet and the heart is red, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And one, one, one of them is black. It reminds me, a variety that they grow in California, Mission, mm -hmm. Black Mission. So it's not Black Mission, it's Black Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and the wow. thing is the, that we can dry them and, and uh, I think this is the future in figs in Israel. Mm -hmm. what, so, what month do they harp? June, 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 July. We started June, but we continue uh, June, July. Uh, August and then temperature grow too high so we have to we cannot stop but other farmers will pick them until the end of December and all kind of varieties we have many varieties but this uh, are the ones that I'm dealing with grapes we are we have in all Jordan Valley 5,000 duna 1,000 and something acre and most of them are seedless white grapes and some are colored introduction introduction grapes or local grapes local means in Israeli invention made from volcanic Institute some came from 
uh, Davis University from the Sunworld uh, company. Uh, we pay them uh, royalties and they let us grow it here. Um, and the, the main plantation that we have is dates. Why dates? Because, as I said, they can resist salt. The land here is very salty. Not only that it's salty, it is very, very salty. So that's why before 67, not, there was no agriculture here. Yeah. But in a, in, a, in a scale of nothing, there was not agriculture because they didn't know how to get rid of the salt. Mm -hmm. And also at the beginning, when we started to grow, the instructor, they sent us, you know, from the agriculture minister, they tried to teach the farmers how to grow in technique that they used to grow in the north. Ah. There's no salt there. Mm -hmm. So they failed. Eventually we learned how to grow it with salt and we pass this knowledge all over the world. So they grow it in, in the United States and in Mexico and in India. Mm -hmm. They're using Israeli technique. The dropper, the rippers, oh, yeah. the line drippers, keep we irrigating all the time in order to push the salt away from the uh, root. This is the whole idea. Do not uh, clear the salt from all the land, only from the root. Then you save my, uh, water. We don't have water. Neither do you. Uh, you, don't, you don't need too much water to irrigate because the roots are in a small scale. And date are resistance to salt. So we can grow them here. Uh, use salt water. Nothing, they don't, they don't give a damn what they say. Um, they grow here, they grow in California, they grow in Mexico, and uh, they're doing a very good job. Very good fruit, and the thing with this fruit, first it's not dry fruit, it's fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. The thing is people are putting them with the dry fruit in order to cheat you. Because when you buy dry fruit, like uh, seeds or uh, nuts, your mind is willing to pay more money. All right, so if I put the, if I put the date with the apple, and the price of an apple will be, let's say, uh, one dollar per two pound, and date will be, let's say, two dollar for two pound, or three dollar, I, I cannot take ten dollar. But when I put them with the dry fruit, then I can say ten dollar. I say, oh, this is dry, so I'll, yeah, I have to pay off. It's like a, oh, it's a marketing big. scheme. It's, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. big scheme. So we dates we don't spray, so you don't have to be afraid. Mm. What you just have to do is wash it. Now why wash it? Not because of the spray, because no, it comes from the outside. Yeah. No, it comes from outside. So sometimes there is dust. dust. Yeah. Sometimes you know. Uh, insects. No, no insect. No, no, no insect because they are covered with net. Okay. That's why all the netting is everywhere, it's for insects. Yeah, against insect, birds, bats, and um, I wanted to say something about, oh, and in Majul, we uh, sort it with electronic machine. I mean, each Majul, each fruit, it's weighed. Each one is weighed by gram, or by ounces, or whatever, and they also, uh, take pictures between 8 to 10 pictures per second for each day to measure the amount of um, water free water because if it's too sweet too um, wet. wet you have to let it dry in the, in, in the box just like that otherwise it will start to, 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 pro, uh, pro, to rot. molding molding like uh, when you make a cake and you put the the frosting, I think. No, no. Uh, you want the dough to, right. to grow. The yeast. You add yeast, right? The yeast might attack it because they need sugar and oh. moisture. So you have to reduce the moisture. So oh. yeast in the future will not attack it. Mm -hmm. So you reduce the the moisture, but without uh, artificial means, mm -hmm. and then you put it in the machine, the machine way, and they measure the amount of the skin separation. Alright? And this will
tell you the difference of the value of the more skin separation. It looks bad, tastes the same, but you the price go down. When, when the skin separation is zero, everything is tight, very nice, like you ate that, price is top. Nice, you want to buy a nice shirt, you pay more. Yeah. <laughs> but each date comes from the same tree, that means it could be one with 50% skin separation and its neighbor with zero. So it comes from the same tree, same taste. I'll show you a movie now about our farm. I think that will end the, the picture. If you have any questions later, I, if I know the answer, I will answer. If I don't know the answer, I will tell you I don't know the answer. Okay? ברוכים הבאים, אנחנו שמחים לארח אתכם כאן אצלנו במשק אורן במושב נתיב הגדוד. קצת מילים על המושב. המושב החל את דרכו כמושבוץ בשנת 1975. ראשוני המתיישבים הצעירים שוכנו ביישוב מעלה אפרים, שם למדו כיצד להקים יישוב חקלאי, לנהל ולעבד את האדמות. בשנת 1976 קיבלו המתיישבים את בתי הקבע במושב נתיב הגדוד. איפה שאתם נמצאים היום. כל מתיישב קיבל חלקת אדמה וכל שני משקים חלקו בטרקטור אחד לעיבוד השטחים שקיבלו. בשנת 1981 סילבי, אשתי, השתחררה מתפקידה כקצינה בחיל האוויר ואני, חיים, סיימתי את לימודי התואר השני במדעי החיים. לנתיב הגדוד הגענו עם בתנו הבכורה, הילה במסגרת בני קן בבקעת הירדן, מהלך בו תנועת המושבים מינה מתוך מאות זוגות צעירים יוצאי צבא את המתאימים ביותר לחיזוק ההתיישבות החקלאית בבקעת הירדן. כמו יתר החקלאים הצעירים במושב, התחלנו לעבד את האדמות ולהתנסות בשלל גידולים כמו אבטיח, אדום וצהוב, מלון, גמבה, חציל. רוב סיני, חסה ומה לא, וזאת כדי לבדוק את התאמתם לתנאי האזור ואת יתרונם יחסית לאזורי גידול אחרים בארץ. במהלך השנים הצטרפו למשפחה ילדינו עידן, הדס ומתן, ואנו התמחינו בגידולים הידועים באיכותם המעולה ובסגולותיהם הבריאותיות והמיועדים לשיווק מקומי וליצוא. ענבי מאכל ללא חרצנים, תאנים, תמרים עסיסיים מזן מג'ול המבוקש ביותר בארץ וברחבי העולם, וגולת הכותרת היא מטע עצי הארגן, שמאגוזיו אנו מפיקים אצלנו בבית הבד את שמן הארגן הידוע בסגולותיו הבריאותיות הרבות, ובשימושים בו לקוסמטיקה ולטיפוח. המשק שלנו ידוע בארץ ובעולם באמינות ובאיכות שמן הארגן הטהור וכן בקשר האישי עם הלקוח. המקור של עץ הארגן הוא בדרום מערב מרוקו, שם גדלים העצים בשטחים נרחבים, ממש כמו יער. העץ יכול להגיע לגיל של 200 שנה, ומיבול של 6 עד 8 עצים מפיקים ליטר אחד של שמן בלבד. רק להשוואה קטנה מעץ זית אחד ניתן להפיק כ-30 ליטר שמן. עץ הארגן הינו עץ קוצני ירוק עד. גובהו מגיע עד עשרה מטרים, ורוחב הנוף שלו כארבעה מטרים. שורשיו מגיעים לעומק של עד שמונה מטר, ואורכם יכול להגיע עד לתשעים מטר. מסיבה זאת, ישנם מקומות השוטלים את העצים לעצירת אדמות סחף. גזע העץ מאופיין בקשיחות רבה ובעמידות בפני מזיקים ולכן מכונה גם עץ הברזל ומשמש לייצור רהיטי יוקרה. העצים במרוקו נמצאים בסכנת הכחדה ולפיכך התארגן לובי של הנסיך אלברט מנסיכות מונאקו, שפים ונשות חברה בעלות השפעה למאבק לשימור העץ מתוך הכרה בסגולות שמן הארגן לבריאות, לטיבול ולטיפוח. כמו כן, אונסקו הכריז על שטח של כ-26 מיליון דונם בין ערי האטלס לאוקיינוס האטלנטי כעל שמורה ביוספירה. משמעות ההכרזה היא 
שהארגון מממן את ההוצאות הכרוכות בשימור העצים. פרי עץ הארגן משמש כבר מאות שנים במרוקו את הברברים להפקת שמן ארגן, אשר שמו הולך לפניו ברחבי העולם בשל סגולותיו הרבות. עד היום תיירים נלקחים במרוקו לצפייה בעצי הארגן שעל ענפיהם מטפסות עיזים ואוכלות את הפרי. העיזים מעכלות את הקליפה החיצונית ומגלליהן אוספים את האגוזים. את האגוזים מפצחים ומפיקים את השמן מהזרעים הטמונים בתוכם. אם תשימו לב, לאור ידיהן של העובדות בבתי הבד במרוקו, תראו עד כמה הוא גמיש ללא קמטים שיכולים להסגיר את גילם. תכונה נפלאה זאת של פעולת השמן על האור החלה להיחקר על ידי טובי המדענים ברחבי העולם מתחילת שנת 2000. תהליך הפקת השמן על ידי סחיטת הזרע הטמון באגוז קשה וארוך. מ-50 קילוגרם אגוזים אנחנו מפיקים ליטר אחד של שמן. במהלך השנים האחרונות פיתחנו ורכשנו לבית הבד אצלנו, שנמצא במשק, מיכון המשמש את שלבי ההפקה השונים. ראשית, עושים את האגוזים הנושרים לקרקע במגוון מכונות המסייעות לגריפתם. מייבשים את השומר שהוא הקליפה החיצונית הדומה לשומר של השקד הירוק, מקלפים אותו במכונה המיועדת לכך. ומוציאים את האגוז הכלוא בתוכו. צבע אגוז חום, והוא נחשב לאחד האגוזים הקשים ביותר לפיצוח. אנחנו ממיינים את האגוזים לפי גודלם, ומעבירים אותם למכונת פיצוח. מהקליפה הקשה נשלפים הזרעים הדקים, אותם אנחנו מעבירים למכונה אשר טוחנת ודוחסת אותם, על מנת למצות מהם כל טיפה של שמן ארגן. היות והשקד אינו מכיל מים, לא נדרש לבצע תהליך הפרדה בין השמן למים, כמו שעושים בהפקת שמן זית. כל התהליך נעשה בכבישה קרה, ללא הפעלת כל אמצעי חום או ערבוב חומר אחר. מתקבל שמן צהבהב, שעובר אחר כך סינון להפרדת חלקיקי גפת זעירים שצפים בתוכו, וזאת על מנת לקבל שמן ארגן צלול. משך הפקת ליטר אחת של שמן אורך כעשר שעות. להפקת השמן בטעם ובניחוח האגוזי כולאים את הזרעים בחום נמוך מספר דקות לפני הליך הייצור. כתוצאה מכך מופק שמן בעל צבע חום הדמדם המשמש לבריאות ולטיבול תבשילים ומאפים איכותיים. שמן אגן כאה זה מוכר היטב ליוצאי מרוקו ומבוקש על ידי טובי השפים בשל הטעם המיוחד שהוא מעניק למאכלים ולסלטים. מספיק להזליף רק כמה טיפות משמן הארגן על מנת לקבל טעם אגוזי עשיר וארומה נפלאה. ועתה הגענו לשאלה מה כל כך מיוחד בשמן? למה שמן הארגן מבוקש מאוד ברחבי העולם? לפי מחקרים שהתפרסמו ברחבי העולם באתר pubmed.com השייך לאוניברסיטאות ובתי הספר לרפואה בארצות הברית והמקושר לשירות הבריאות והמזון האמריקאי, ה-FDA, הסתבר שלשמן השפעה מהירה וייחודית על מערכת הדם, על מערכת החיסון, העיכול ועל האור שלנו. תוך חודש ניתן לראות את השינויים במערכת הדם ותוך זמן קצר על האור והשיער שלנו. לפי מחקר שנערך באנגליה, צריכה של עשרה cc לגבר ושמונה cc לאישה ביום, כמות השווה לכף גדולה, תגרום אצל רוב המשתמשים בתקופה של כחודש לירידה בטריגליצרידים, עלייה בקולסטרול הטוב, ירידה בקולסטרול הרע, לאיזון לחץ הדם, להפרשת אינסולין תקינה, להגברת המערכת החיסונית של הגוף ולשיפור מערכת העיכול. חולי סכרת סוג 2 הנוטים לפתח מחלות קרדיו-וסקולריות בשכיחות גבוהה מעל האוכלוסייה הבריאה יחזרו לשכיחות הנורמלית בעזרת שימוש יומי בשמן. לאחרונה פרסמו חוקרים מקנדה שלשמן יכולות לעכב המשך התפתחות תאי סרטן בפרוסטטה. יש המשתמשים בשמן להקלה על כאבי פרקים וכאבים ראומטיים. 
שמן הארגן ידוע בשימושיו הרבים לטיפוח, שכן הוא מכיל כמות רבה של ויטמין E וחומצות שומן חיוניות לא רוויות הגורמות להתחדשות תאים. שמן הארגן משמש להזנת אור יבש, מאט את תהליך הופעת הקמטים, תכונה זאת מכונה על ידי חברות הקוסמטיקה כאנטי אייג'ינג, ולכן הן מוסיפות את השמן לתוך מוצריהן האיכותיים. השמן ידוע כמסייע בריפוי כוויות וחתכים, הוא מרפא אבבות רוח ומקל על חולי הפסוריאזיס. הוא מרפא מחלות אקזמה של העור, אוטופיק דרמטיטיס, מרפא שפשפת ויובש בקרקפת גם אצל תינוקות. השמן מסייע גם לחיזוק ציפורניים מתפצלות ושבירות. רוב הנשים מכירות את שמן הארגן המשולב במוצרים לטיפוח השיער. השימוש בשמן הטהור מסייע להפחתת נשירת שיער אצל נשים. הוא מעניק לשיער נפח, ברק, רקות ומסייע לאיחוי קצוות מפוצלים. בשל סגולותיו אלו ואחרות של עץ הארגן נוהגים לכנותו עץ החיים. אנו שמחים לארח אתכם במרכז המבקרים שבמסגרתו מופעלים סיורים חקלאיים, מפגש אישי עמנו, סדנאות, טעימות ואפשרות רכישת שמן ותוצרת חקלאית לפי עונות השנה. נשמח להמשיך לשמור עמכם על קשר גם בעתיד. Before we finish, I want to, to say two things. You can see that the, the oil is actual cola, yellow. Doesn't matter how much uh, the, the quantity, because the quality is the same. Some people want to buy small bottles, some people want to buy long. So if you see, but you will see dark and yellow. Yellow is the natural uh, color, and this is used We use it for external use and also internal. You can drink it, but it doesn't have any kind of flavor. Just very natural flavor. And dark one is the one that we roast the kernel before I make the oil. It does not affect any, uh, what, what, how do you say, any whatsoever about this uh, health quality. The only thing is it gives it different color. And there is a reason, but I don't want to go into that. And the taste is like nutty, and people use it for uh, adding after they cooking it, like the, to the salad, to steak, to meat, to, to all kind of uh, vegetables. Most of the chefs will put it in their dish. And if you want to take it as a, uh, to help your uh, cholesterol, triglyceride, blood pressure, whatever, You can bring both of them, only that it, most, it tastes more. And like I say, if you have to take it, uh, so at least enjoy it. Mm. But the thing is, this is pure oil. That means there is nothing else except argan oil in that. So in case you want to have it, and you just need like one drop, like uh, in order to, have, to stop hair for, only for a woman. It doesn't help men. Right? <laughs> They don't have beards. You have beards, okay? <laughs> don't complain. <laughs> And uh, so the only thing that will stop your hair uh, is the floor. <laughs> so if you reach the floor, it will the not floor. stop, will not move anymore. <laughs> so you just take like uh, something like three drops on your hand, three, four drops. And with the tip of your finger, you just put it and like comb after you Of course, clean your hair, uh, but don't, uh, don't use hair dryer after, okay? And after four minutes, it will penetrate your hair, uh, your head. It will not be oily, and the rest you just can put on your hair. It will be very shiny, puffy, full, live, all the names they say. And um, for men, if, if you shave yourself, you can, but You can use it on your face and it will give you a very soft skin. It will penetrate uh, your skin in four minutes. We have a tester near the sink, so what you, in order to see that if I'm lying or not, 
people say, oh, I don't believe it's working. Okay. So you take one, you take, touch your hand on the top. Then put one drop from the tester on the back of your hand. Rub back to back. Do not feel, touch your fingers. Otherwise, you will not feel the difference because it will change your membrane over here. Just rub it like that. One drop, not too much. You look at your hand, it will be shiny, oily. Wait four minutes. And after that, touch your hand. You see, it's not oily anymore, but it's different texture. Texture. If you have a skin problem, it will heal skin problem like magical oil. If, in, if you burn yourself, it will, it will heal the burns faster than anything that you imagine. Especially the people who cook it say, oh, I burn yourself. So you put the argan oil, next day nothing. Uh, good for women, for babies, for sport people who play and they just have this, like a rubber, they, they rub their hand, uh, skin, like red rush or whatever, it will heal it very fast. I'm talking about hours, not talking about days. That's it. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, two questions. Um, the uh, oil, can you use it for high temperature cooking? We don't cook with it. You don't cook with it, okay. We don't cook with it, like we don't cut the, we don't use uh, diamonds to cut the, anything. And it's it's very a very expensive oil, so we just use it for what we need. Okay. You cook, and then you add. Okay. And uh, in the salad, you just add. But remember, woman needs only eight cc per day in order to see the change in her blood. Okay. Men, ten cc. Now the change in your blood will will take place in about twenty four to thirty days, not more you will see that everything is starting to change. Cholesterol, bad ones go down, high cholesterol, good cholesterol goes up. If you have a problem with blood pressure, you'll feel it in very quickly by measuring it. And uh, it's not a medicine because it's natural, but it's, me it's natural medicine. Like nat natural doctors will tell you, take this. So I used to take statin, you know, statin? in order to reduce my cholesterol and after I started with argan I don't no, stop. no using and uh, everything is okay not like I'm young, I'm not if you haven't noticed I'm not 12 years old uh, but still comparing to my age comparing to what I had before it's good how long does it last, the shelf life? three years Three wow. years. and you see transparent uh, glass that means UV does not destroy it. It's the most antioxidant and natural oil that exists. It usually works good with vitamin C. You know what uh, free radical? So this oil clear free radical. So it makes you healthier. <coughs> You can read about it uh, in, in our website, which is linked to the FDA, which is a small group of medical... Yeah. So it's helpful for the immune system and also for inflammation? About inflammation, I don't know, because I didn't see any research about that. By the way, all the things that I've told you were uh, published by doctors from small countries like United States, Canada, UK and Germany. Hmm? Small countries. <laughs> like they say, in Canadian doctors say, it, it uh, doesn't prevent, they say it's uh, stop. If you have like a prostate cancer, it will stop growing it. It will stop growing while you use the argan oil, but it will not heal you. It will not uh, extend. So I read this research and said, how come, you know, it's like uh, science fiction. But if a doctor said, we tested it, after five years we came to this uh, conclusion, I cannot, uh, I'm an agronomist, I'm not a doctor. Anything else? So what you can do is, you can use near the sink the tester on your backhand. If you want to buy something, Matan, 
will sell you if you're nice. If not, we'll, he's not saying going to sell you. <laughs> and you. everything is from us. That means it's we we are the producer. We are the farmers. So there is no um, middleman. No middleman. No nothing. Yeah. This, if you like, the date price is the same that we sell the retailers in the United States or in Europe. Same price. Okay. Every end. Thank you. You want to sit? You can sit.